Woman, you don't have to cry no more If you throw your troubles out the door Spread your wings and fly You'll make a difference You were born to shine Cause you are a woman Hello, my name is Grace Barbe and I am from Seychelles Island in the Indian Ocean. I'm Creole, I, Creole is the, the culture, the people, and it's also the language that we speak, so Creole, and I sing in the language of Creole. Even though I grew up here in Perth and I have been back quite a few times, um, I've been quite proactive and active in the Seychelles community here in Perth. So I started performing and playing bass and singing in the Seychelles community here in Perth and I suppose that's why I'm so into you know into preserving the culture and you know not making getting that lost being here you know and uh, living in, in, in Australia I thought it's really important to to preserve that to preserve the culture and to share that beauty with the people with the audience especially being an artist performing and uh, starting to perform in the Seychelles community here to take that to a wider audience, the wider Australian audience, I think it's really important. Even though I've created my own style, Afro-Creole, which is a blend of different genres, Afrobeat, you know, pop, a bit of reggae, the roots, the foundation is still there and you can hear it in my music and that's really important. Um, Indian Ocean Island music has not really been heard much worldwide, internationally, so it was a, a, a great opportunity for me to bring that to that platform, you know, performing this style of music internationally and touring. It's a great opportunity for me to actually introduce my audience about where I come from. And this, this is, these are the rhythms that we play, even though you can hear the different influences. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of where I come from. And it's really important to share that with people. You are a woman. Naturally, and it's authentic, and we can create our own kind of genre, our, our own style with the Indian Ocean Island fusion, and it's a great opportunity to do that. But it means that we kind of stand alone with everybody else, and that's also a good thing. But people ask a lot of questions: where, where, Where's this music coming from? What's the, what's the rhythm? And to try and not be too pigeonholed you know, with this kind of world music term. Every music is world music, you know. But I suppose a lot of people, when they hear the term world music, they, they, hear, they think it's playing traditional instruments and that's, you know. But while we're quite um, modern in our style and uh, we, we fuse a few different genres within the style of music that we do, but also paying respect to the music from the Indian Ocean, it's world music. So I suppose the challenge is to have that appeal on that stage, on the international stage, on the national stage, and to appeal to the audience just like any other uh, acts on that same platform, on the same stage, and go, we, we're just as good, you know, and it's a different style of music. It's challenging to penetrate that out there, especially seeing most of the songs in a different language, Creole. So. For me, it's been such a, a growth and a challenge for all of us in the band and uh, to try and establish ourselves on that platform and be proud and own, own it, you know what I mean? And I think that comes through, people see it, the, our peers see it, um, festival organizers see it and they can see that we're quite authentic and we're staying true to our sound and that's very, very important. So, love well music, call it what you like. You know, I think it's really important to stay authentic and true to your to your sound, wherever you come from. You're a woman.